Hello and welcome to Indus News. I am Muneeb Hamid and these are the top stories of this hour. We start from Beijing, where Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has called for greater emphasis on tackling climate change and poverty. Speaking at the Second Belt and Road Forum in Beijing, he said that China's project represents a distinct new phase of globalization. In his keynote address, Khan said that Pakistan will increase cooperation with China in the agriculture, health and education sectors. In his inaugural speech, China's President Xi Jinping said that the BRI has opened new avenues for global economic growth. In Afghanistan, at least 55 Taliban fighters and 21 Afghan government soldiers have been killed in nationwide clashes. The Defense Ministry said that the Taliban fighters were killed in ground operations and airstrikes in Helmand, Ghazni, Kandahar and Badakhshan provinces. Taliban said that 21 government soldiers were killed in attacks in southern Helmand and Zabul provinces. In Syria, investigators have said that the U.S.-backed coalition killed more than 1,600 civilians to drive ISIS from Raqqa in 2017. According to Amnesty International and War Monitors, the number of civilian casualties is 10 times greater than the coalition has acknowledged. Moving on, six mine clearance experts have been killed in a blast in Yemen. They died when the landmines they were collecting in the southwestern city of Moha detonated. In the NBA, the San Antonio Spurs have beaten the Denver Nuggets by 120 points to 103. The Spurs registered their third win of the Western Conference playoffs to tie the series with one game to go. Spurs and Nuggets will meet each other for the final game of the series on Sunday. That's all for now. Program visitors book coming up after a short break. Stay tuned.